look at all these fallen. Uh, I'm going to start attacking with Blight Mama now. I'm not going to attack with Corpse Cur because I don't want to trade off for, well, not even for a full card. It would possibly just uh, run into, like, Bloodshot Trainee or Razor Hippogriff. It's possible that I'm being a little bit too conservative here, but uh, I feel like I'm kind of in control of the game, and that he needs a very specific set of cards to draw in order to beat me at this stage. So I don't want to like just open myself up to something random killing me out of nowhere. Yeah, so, yeah, finally, there's the the, the Razor Hippogriff trading with uh, Iron Club Mare. Uh, just <laughs> make sure I remember to regenerate. That's always important. So, yeah, I mean, that that, that, uh, that Mare got in for a ton of poison. I could play my second Toad Fallen, but I might as well keep uh, Blight Mamba regeneration up. As he's not shown me any way to deal with his Blight Mama yet, and as he gets lower and lower on uh, health, it's going to be uh, it's going to be more imperative for him to block. Um, as he the fallen probably gets blocked by Ferrivor here. Let's see. The question is, do I want to attack with uh, Fallen and or Corpse Cur? Yeah, because Corpse Cur either sort of basically neutralizes Bloodshot Trainee forever, uh, and then dies, or trades with like the Sun Spear Shikari, which is basically better than Goblin Gavalier, simply because it gains first strike no matter what piece of equipment is on it. And I've got another Fallen in hand, so I don't mind his guys just being edicted away here. So I've just I've got the board advantage and reinforcements in hand, so uh, that's. That works out pretty well for me, I guess. Uh, the far far blocked the fallen as expected, and Corpse Car got to trade off his Sun Spear. So he's he's all out of these uh, potentially first striking equipment guys now, and he's basically just hoping to draw a plus two power equipment for his Bloodshot Trainee. But I've got the answer for that in Bonds of Quicksilver, so I'm not really too alarmed. Stoker. Okay, so he's got a one-off uh, sh shot with his trainee. It probably means uh, Fallen's going to bite the dust. Now, I, I obviously have the option here of bonzing his trainee right now. But, uh, if you think about it, there's not really that much point right now. Uh, I don't have anything that dies to it other than Silvermere, of course. But I don't really care if that guy dies, so I've got plenty of mana. It doesn't kill uh, Blight Mamba, or this other Blight Mamba I've just drawn, and it doesn't kill Acid Web Spider. If he does draw a permanent source, and he starts 
trying to make Blight Mamba regenerate every turn. Then, you know, then I can deal with it then. But at present, I don't see me losing to it. Whereas I could see me losing to like a Steel Hellkite off the top or something along those lines. Uh, especially doubling up my Blight Mamas means that he's probably going to be chomping twice as fast as before. Yeah, this has been a, a surprisingly long game for this format. Uh, down to under half our libraries. Oh, there's the Lash. Now, now, obviously this will trigger on Bonds of Quicksilver, so I kind of want to be careful about when I do this. I could do it now, and then, then he can just leave his thing untapped forever. Because, unlike some other variants, this doesn't specifically require that the target be tapped upon casting. Or I could wait until after he shoots something and then, you know, he'll deal another couple of damage. I don't want to... I'm just going to do it right now. Uh, Live Hour Lash is an interesting one. Let's see, he can only... Uh, he can only target one of my Mambas this turn unless he's been really ultra slow rolling the uh, removal spell in his hand. I mean, by this stage, he's about to be just looking at it. What's been going on, wondering what on earth my deck is do, trying to do here, but I guess I guess he's actually seen most of my poison guys. I guess n now at this point, he knows he can just like chump with his uh, bloodshot trainee three times, which is probably more useful for him than like shooting something once, then making me regenerate. And uh, then not being able to shoot anything ever again with it. I've got so much mana. I don't really. Uh, I can regenerate as many times as I want. These black mammas are pretty solid. As long as I don't do any sort of stupid misclicks like forgetting to regenerate my guys. Which obviously you never see uh, a real professional like me doing. I'll stick a regeneration shield on this guy. He has activated the ability of Bloodshot Trainee, targeting Bloodshot Trainee. Alright. I f somehow feel like he uh, mis-aimed his click there. Maybe the uh, high sh the high pressure situation of this match uh, caused his hand to be shaking in, uh, in anticipation and accidentally clicked on his guy instead of my Blight Mamba. Although, I think he had the right idea there. That was a good way to avoid this guy getting a counter on it. Unfortunately for him, you know, it would have still not untapped again. So, you know, maybe I'd have missed the uh, second regeneration on my Blight Mamba due to some hilarious misunderstanding. Unfortunately for him, I didn't. Stratoscythe, that guy is... That's, that is a pretty meaty piece of equipment. That's a good one. I'm pretty glad my deck is... So anti artifact. So, I had quite a lot of bother with that over the uh, the recent PTQ, just making Stratosouth and smashing my face in with random monsters. When you've only got one piece of uh, artifact removal in your pool, it is pretty difficult to deal with, say, a uh, Mimic Vat and a Stratosouth.
So, okay, that guy can block for quite a while. I mean, that guy, if that guy is tooled up. I think it's quite interesting he decided not to attack there. Huh. Strider Harness. Now he has choices. Does he want to shrink his guy two at a time or one at a time and die twice as fast? He's not walking at all. Uh, since I've got plenty of mana lying around, I'm going to move this silver mirror, move the strider hardness to silver mirror. Uh, gives me. An extra, an extra point of toughness to play around with. I'm not really sure if he's aiming for it. <laughs> like, I guess if he played Panic Spell Bomb on my uh, Acid Web Spider and then Top Deck an Off Color Flight Spell Bomb, that'd have worked. Okay, off to sideboard. 